Hi, and here's another uh, explainer app for some of the resources that you can find on the Pain and Quality of Life Integrative Research Lab website at pearlresearch.com. I've uh, gone to the website, I've clicked on clinician resources across the top, and I've seen the growing list of free resources available for clinicians. This time, I'm going to click on the Clinical Diagnosis Helper app. This is a little app that I had uh, programmed a couple of years ago, and the intention is to help people better interpret their results of clinical diagnostic tests, especially when the positive or negative likelihood ratios are known. Uh, if you don't know those offhand, but you happen to know the sensitivity or specificity, then you can also calculate the positive and negative likelihood ratios, and in fact, that's described here on the screen. To uh, download the app here, uh, you're going to need to use the BlueStacks Android emulator, or you can just install it directly to your Android-based smartphone. Unfortunately, there's not an iOS version, at least not yet. Uh, that will be coming. So to download it, you would click here on the Enclosure button, and you would choose a standard download location. I've already downloaded and installed the app in my BlueStacks window, so we're going to go there now. And here we are in uh, BlueStacks, and you can see here I've, I've gone to the My Apps link across the top. Uh, it shows the different things that I've got installed and I guess some suggestions uh, based on something that Google knows about me. Um, but what we're going to do here is we're, uh, I've gone and I've installed the APK that I just downloaded by clicking on this little button down here in the bottom right navigated to that document or to that uh, file and uh, simply installed it. It's really quite simple. Here it is, it's the Pearl Clinical Diagnos Diagnosis Helper app. And when you tap on that, open it up, you're presented with a screen that is uh, fairly straightforward. Uh, basically all it requires here is to enter the pretest probability that a condition exists. So let's say for example, you're evaluating a patient, you think that, well, I'll use my own field and I imagine that they might be in the high risk category for developing chronic whiplash related problems following a motor vehicle crash. Uh, what we know, generally speaking, is that about 50% of people will, require, uh, will recover quickly. The other 50% will either recover slowly or not recover well at all. And of that group, it's about 15 to 20% that are not going to recover well at all. So let's just say, knowing nothing more about a patient, I'm just going to say they've had an acute whiplash related problem. And uh, so the pretest probability that they are in the high risk category, knowing nothing more than that, let's imagine it's uh, 15%. Okay. Now let's say I apply a clinical test. Let's imagine maybe I use the, uh, the traumatic injuries distress scale, which is part of the reason that that scale was developed. And what I know, um, I haven't actually published this anywhere, but let's say that I've gone through and I've, I've screened the patient and I know that the the likelihood that a patient is in a high risk category increases by, let's just say it's it's five and a half folds. In other words, the positive, positive likelihood ratio given a positive test on my screening tool is 5.5. You can fill in a negative likelihood ratio if you want, which would be the chance that the, like, the shift in likelihood that they're not in the high risk group given a negative test. I'll just leave that blank for the time being because let's imagine I've given that tool to my patient and they've scored positive. Knowing all that information, I then click the calculate button and it now indicates that the post-test probability that this person is in the high-risk group has gone from 15% up to almost 50% by virtue of knowing the positive likelihood ratio and the, uh, the results of the test. Click clear. You can do this uh, over and over again if you want. Perhaps uh, we've got, we'll start with our same 15% uh, uh, likelihood that they're in the high-risk group. I'll put the negative likelihood ratio right now. I'm just going to make this up. I'll say it's 0.25. In other words, it reduces the, the likelihood that the patient is in the high risk group reduces by about a factor of four with a negative test. Let's call this a negative test, and we will calculate the uh, post test probability that they're in the high risk group now goes down to 4.2% from 15%. So, simple little app. Uh, again, you can use this either download it directly to your Android based smartphone or use it through BlueStacks on a Windows machine. All for now.